Coach, a very competitive game and a tough loss on Saturday. Take us through the timeline for your team from post game on Saturday to tip off this coming Saturday. Yeah, you know, we, um, we took Sunday off. We had the selection show Sunday night, so it was great to see our name called uh, as the second seed for the NCAA tournament. Uh, guys are obviously very, very happy to be participating again in the postseason. And then uh, we just had a couple days. We had practice yesterday, day off today, and then get back to work towards the end of the week here and prepare for Bloomfield. Yeah, as you mentioned, your opponent is Bloomfield. You had a five-point win last time around the game played over three months ago. How much can you take away from a game that long ago, and what will you take away as the keys to that game come out on top again this time? Yeah, I think anytime you can get film on your opponent, especially when you play them, I think it's, it's key just to uh, you know, find personnel, find some things that they do offensively and defensively. Uh, so we'll watch that film. They played some other league opponents as well, so that's obviously key to watch those games. And um, you know, just in general, they're a very good team, uh, very athletic, very fast-paced team, uh, have very good scores. Um, and they do play with uh, small times. So they'll have some small lineups in the game that we'll have to adjust with. But, um, and then they're very, very good in the offensive glass. 38% of their shots are recovered um, by them. So uh, it'll be a great challenge for us to guard them and, and obviously keep them off the glass and um, be a good game. And you were in a similar position to this last year. What's different about this team that will help you take an extra step in the regional? I don't think much is different. I think uh, obviously the experience will, will help our, our guys a ton. Um, but I thought we, we did a good job preparing last year. You know, we played another team out of league in Dominican. I uh, thought that uh, week leading up, we did a good job preparing for them. I think the, the, the key will be, you know, it is we, we played three games last week in our, our conference tournament. Um, so I think that's a little bit different than what happened last year. So we've been continuing to play, which I think is good. Uh, and obviously we have a lot of veteran guys. So, um, you know, I think it's, you know, the experience last year has helped, but also just continuing to play throughout this postseason has helped us quite a bit. And talk about some of those veteran guys. It's your first recruiting class that you've right. seen through for four years. Um, talk about that group and the change they've helped foster in this program over these past four years. Yeah, you know, guys like uh, Justin Exum and Jeff Atkins and Ashanti DePass, they've really done the heavy lifting for this program. Uh, since they've come in as freshmen, they've played a lot of minutes. Um, they've been through the, the, our first year when we were 8-18. and 18. It's great to see them really... Uh, fall all the way through to a 21-8 and eight year and another chance to play in the postseason. But those guys, first of all, they've been great ambassadors for our program, for our university, great kids, have tried hard in the classroom. And obviously I think they've just done a great, great job basketball-wise, just improving every year and uh, obviously have gotten us to this point where you know, we're one of the better teams in the region. Coach, thanks for joining us. Good luck this weekend. Thanks so much.